We see now in places like Melbourne, you're not allowed to go outside for more than two hours a day. You can't go outside if you don't have a vaccine passport. You have to wear a mask everywhere. Also, uh, you can't leave five kilometers of your home. Your children have to pick two friends and they have to stick with those friends. And those are the only friends that they can see. Could you speak to that? Yeah. So first of all, there's absolutely no evidence that anything that they're doing is effective. In fact, if anything, it could be harmful because of the natural immunity that they're not allowing to happen by simple association with each other. And so I could give, you know, many, many uh, scientific and medical studies that show that exactly what they're doing is opposite of what they should be doing and leave liberty out of it. However, that is the most important part. Um, and I'll a little bit of background. Uh, I spent uh, two years in federal prison uh, falsely accused over the whole thing that happened to my, my family uh, and our ranch. And again, we left there um, not, without even a misdemeanor and beat them in two federal, ma massive federal courts, trials. And, um, but half of that time I spent in solitary confinement, uh, which was a shock to me because I'd never been in prison before. Uh, but I spent, you know, about approximately a year, a year of my time in there in solitary confinement. And the pattern or the, the solitary confinement schedule, I'd just say, is that they would typically take your last name and they put you in a rotation and you come out of your cell when everybody else is locked in your cell and you would come out for an hour at a time, you could shower, uh, you can exercise, you can grab a book or two, and then you got to go back in your cell when the hour is up. And then the next person on the list would come out for an hour. And that way we all lived in the same pod, but we never, ever had any contact with each other. Well, that is exactly what they're, they've implemented in Australia. Exactly. They have implemented solitary confinement schedule and rules and, and policies. And I know that uh, Australia was a penal island and, you know, and I, I wonder if it, if it ever stopped being that, uh, but the, you know, the, the people of Australia, Australia are being put under con consolid or, a, uh, solidary confinement. Um, uh, and they're, and, you know, they don't have any way to correct that. And when a people become so oppressed and, and, and they, that they can't, and, and basically they lose the resources to defend themselves, uh, then this type of thing is what happens. And they become dependent on somebody else freeing them from their oppression. And in the past, it's been the United States that have gone and said, look, you, what you're doing, I mean, even if, even if we took five years ago, or even, even three years ago, if Australia tried to do this to the people, the United States would have stepped in and said, no, they would have, they, you know, under historically, they would have gone and, and give the resources for the people to defend themselves. Um, and now we're, we're basically trying to do the same thing in our own country. The only reason why they haven't been able to do it is because uh, the people are rejecting it and we're armed. Um, but we have our, our president, you know, that has said basically, uh, I'd love to have the, uh, the actual words of what he said. I do have them somewhere in my notes, but he basically has said that, um, that uh, for those that are unvaccinated, he says that, that um, our patients are wearing thin and that, you have hurt us badly, he said, which is completely nonsense, complete nonsense. But that talk is basically him saying, look, and then he says that our patient, well, what happens when his patients has already, has, has worn all the way through? What's he planning on doing? He's isolated the 25 to 20, 20 to 25% that he says is unvaccinated. And he says that we've harmed them and damaged them. Um, this is the president of the United States saying this, and people need to be aware that, look, there's a plan, even in this country, 
to completely put us on into complete control. And that's not conspiracy. That's what they are planning on doing. They're now isolating a certain population that basically that population believes in freedom uh, and believes in God. They believe that their, their right to freedom doesn't belong to the government. And they have found a way through these COVID methods <clears throat> to isolate that group. And now they know they've even documented, they know even by name uh, through a selection of calling, really, uh, who, this, who these people are. And whenever that has happened in the past, if the people do not defend themselves and do not unite soon enough, it always ends in uh, isolation from the rest of the population. Uh, then they will de demonize them. Uh, and then if they can, they will destroy, uh, even to the point of genocide. And so that that's historically what's happened. Head on over to goldsilverbitcoin.com for more content like this, as well as long form written articles about precious metals, Bitcoin and other topics. Also, check out our shop where you can get precious metals, storable foods and all sorts of other cool survival and prep gear as well.